In this module, we'll talk about the MCMS graphical user interface, the GUI. We'll show you the complete tour and some basic operations. On the left side, we see the input sources area with categories and sources within that category. These are user controllable, so you can create any category you need to group your sources accordingly. When I select any source in the list here, in the bottom portion, in the preview window, I see a still image, a thumbnail of that source. So any source I select gives me an instant thumbnail of that source. Once I find a source I'd like to appear on the wall, since I have wall control, it says full wall control, the top of the wall area with a green square, then I can drag any source now to any window on the wall and that source appears instantly on the wall and also in the GUI in front of me. So simply click on any source, drag it to the window. It's that simple. Click and drag. But I can also take a source and resize the window. So any window on the source, I can click the corner, drag to make it larger or smaller. I can take a source and move it anywhere along the wall that I need to. I can also take a source and right click on that source and say scale to wall. So for an immediate situation I need to tend to, I can bring any source immediately up to the full size of the wall. Now more about the wall section. You see in the wall section there are lots of different icons and names and things listed here. Let's go through what these are. At the top of each source you'll see a banner which you can turn on or off if you don't want to see them. You can turn it off. It shows the source name. It also shows the input to the switcher. It also shows you if this source is controlled, who has control of that source. You'll see the admin, which is me right now, has control over this source. For other sources, you might see a different user. In this case, user one has control. And that lets us talk about the icons on the screen here. So you'll see green square for full control, meaning I have control of that source. A yellow circle tells me I can request control. That source is available for me to control. The stop symbol, the red stop sign, tells me that somebody else is currently controlling that source. And I can see, as I mentioned, the user one is controlling that source. If I'd like to request access to a source, I can simply click the red stop sign. And this sends a message to the user saying, please allow me to have control over that source. And when the user clicks yes, then they will allow me to have control. And this symbol now from blue turns to a green square. Now if the user tries to select a source to control that I have control over, in this case, let's say PC2, then I get a message in my message area saying a request has been sent from user one to have control over source PC2 and I can respond to it with a yes or no. If I say yes, I'll give them control right away. If I say no, I get an option to send a message. Please wait. And I can send that message to them and they see the message. If they click request again, eventually, if I do not respond, the system is set up to automatically give them control if that is the way the user profiles are set up. So as we talk about source control on the video wall, I can also control my sources on my local displays and also route sources to a local display. The local display tab down below shows me in this control station, I have three monitors with my user interface, the GUI, right now in the middle monitor of the three. And I have two sources on either side of me. I can click any source just like I did earlier and route that source to any monitor, in this case, to the monitor on my right or I can click another source and route it to the source monitor on my left. These are my local displays. Now, if we combine the local display routing with control, since I have the green square on this source, I have control over this source on my right. I can now take my cursor from the GUI in front of me and mouse directly to my source on the right. And now I have control over this source and I could run a program, respond to an alarm on a VMS system, now I have full mouse and keyboard control of that source. 
That's what we call click simple. I can simply mouse back over, slide the cursor back to the left, and now I'm back onto my user interface for MCMS. So it's simply slide the mouse over, the same mouse and keyboard are now talking to that source computer. Or bring the mouse back. If I want to route a different source there, I can take PC1, route that to my source on the right, my window on the right, and now I can mouse over and very easily adjust and change this VMS program. If I need to get control of a source on the video wall that I don't currently have on a local monitor, I can request or gain access for a yellow circled source. Now I have control over PC2. I can do the same for PC5. When I right click on a source, I can move cursor to window. And now my cursor is up on the sources on the window. You can see the cursor moving across the wall. And if I need to access a certain source or do something with that, I can do it right on the video wall. So as I move my cursor around the video wall, the gray highlight follows me and shows me where my cursor is and what source. So I can go all around the entire wall as if it was one entire canvas. That's what we call click simple. One other function of the MCMS system we have access to through the GUI is the wall presets. So in the bottom tab here, labeled wall presets, you have access to whatever has been set up as presets in front of you. And not all users have access to save presets. I'm the admin user in this example, so in the upper part of the video wall section, you see save preset. So I can create presets. Now any user with the proper access privileges can recall presets to the wall. That is a part of their profile. So you can see down below a visual representation of each of the presets, including window layout and sources, which helps you determine immediately which preset you need to have right now. Simply clicking on a preset window recalls that routing and the size of the windows to the video wall. And I also get a representation of that in my user GUI as well. If the admin user would like to save a preset, arrange the wall as you'd like, and then click Save Preset. I can name it whatever I would like. And now that appears as an extra preset now in my wall preset section. And now users with preset and wall access control can recall that preset. That's how simple the MCMS user interface is. Flexible source drag and drop and easy control over those sources in one intuitive interface.